What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if I want to do stuff like this too often, but um, this kind of intrigued me. This new version of the Epiphone inspired by Gibson line. Um, maybe because of the headstock design, maybe not. I don't know, but I did want to look at a few of them. And there were a couple of surprises here in Zounds that... Uh, I hadn't, I haven't really been looking. I haven't been paying attention because I don't have money to buy anything right now. So, it's like, why torture yourself? <laughs> I get dream building. I really do. And, I, and I'm, I'm a, a big fan and proponent of it. But lately, I just haven't really been keeping my ear to the ground. But this past week or so, I've seen a couple channels pop up with a few of these. And I just thought they were interesting enough to talk about. I mean, talking about the price itself, that might be a little bit of a moot point. Um, because in a lot of cases, these things are specced out pretty damn good. My only apprehension is, so what? You make the headstock look the part, and you add some American components to it. And in some cases, they do upgrade the construction on the neck. But at the end of the day, they still feel, they still look, I think like epiphones that have been dressed up and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that but yeah i don't know i'm 50 50 there's a couple here that i would actually like to get my hands on um when i go into a, a thing this is the first view i like to look at because it's it's pseudo kind of looking down how you would see it i don't know a lot of guitars i've purchased through them that's how i've i've decided does it look best in this position and because it's an online purchase, I can't I can't tell you how it sounds until I get it. But um, the other thing about these is is they will come with an ebony, and in some cases the mother of pearl is real. So again, I'm not going to puke on the price because they are specked out well enough to, I believe, deserve it. Thirteen hundred, maybe, maybe I think that's where a lot of these should stay, and you're going to see a couple of them are. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, but here's the Les Paul custom. Uh, more people, I think, are going to go for the white than the black. I would personally go with the black. Um, look at this, look at this. They give us the opposite picture. I can't stand that. This is the one I would look at, too. Uh, but it's a Les Paul custom. The other thing I don't like about the imports is the poly finish. I know that's an upgrade, and I know that protects the, the finish better, and it, and it keeps it truer to its... Uh, factory hue, if you will. Uh, but I'm the type of guy that likes the Asian. I like the yellowing. And thank God for Montana spray cans. They do have a product that you can use to lightly mist over things. Or, you know, just go in your own whatever. Uh, like, say, if I, I, I painted a white guitar today, I could use that to, to age it or whatever. So, I mean, there's ways to make your guitar look the way you want it to look. But at the end of the day, I mean, is it really about that? I know that's the first thing that draws your attention to it, but um, maybe I'll do a video on how to how to purchase a guitar because, I mean, there's really not much to it, but I can't tell you how many times as a kid I bought a guitar because I thought it looked cool and I got it home, and it was just garbage. You got to sit there. You got to sit down with it. You got to get to know it. You got to close your eyes. How does it feel? Do the sounds do something for you, you know? Um, I, I'm a big fan of closing your eyes and just letting the guitar tell you its story. And, um, yeah, and then figure it out from there and hope to God that you can pay for it. Because <laughs> guys like me, we, we never have money. What are you talking about? I was put on this earth to create things, not make money. And if I could figure out how to put the two together, maybe I'll be all right. But, you know, God gave me a gift that I can't use to sustain my world, and I was telling someone the other day, and I actually made a Facebook post about it, saying, you know, you better have a, a good seat for me up there for all the irony. I'm going to give you one gift, but you can't you can't use it to eat. So here's a Les Paul standard, which is probably one of two that I would primarily go after. And they have this thing called a VOS finish. If you don't know what the VOS is, just look it up. Gibson's been doing it for years. It's basically a way to make it look like a... Not, not relics, but... Like, the finish has been around for a little while. Nothing crazy. I mean, there is some, in some cases, some checking and stuff that sometimes they do. I like these plain tops on a, on a 50s Les Paul. I don't know why. The flame tops are great. They're pretty and all, but I don't know. 
I, I dig the look of this better than I do say the the the, uh, the custom though. The custom looks like a, a car, I almost want to say a toy version of the real deal. I mean, don't get me wrong; they're probably great guitars, but when I aesthetically look at it, all the brightness of it just and all the Chinese plasticness of it just 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 does it doesn't do it for me. But the Les Paul standards. I think they have a better vibe, although you do have an Indian laurel fretboard. No no rosewood to be had here, and that's fine, whatever. Um, they put custom buckers in most of these, except for the, I believe the custom, Les Paul Custom, gets its proper uh, pickups, the 498 T and R, I don't know. Whatever customs get, and same with the, I believe the studios and the tribute models also had the same pickups. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, these get custom buckers, which are, as a set, $500 a piece. So, now we're starting to get into a place where this price here, I meant to do that, it, it's starting to make a little more sense. Especially, you also have to take, take into account the, the economy, you know? So, I like to look at the back of the guitars on here because, I mean, that's primarily what's going to be, in your point of view, the top and the rear, for the most part, you know what I mean. But I, I dig this. I think they, they nailed the color. They nailed the vibe of this one, except for the finish. Now, maybe it's something I have to see in person. But this just looks like a, a, a matte finish that was never really... Just a matte finish, you know? For people who don't like gloss. Uh, this one comes in three different finishes. I think these are too dark. This is where I would go if it wasn't so dark. and so in your face. And it won't fade, because it's a poly fucking finish. But again... I think I can get over a few of these. Ice tea burst is, is, is probably where I would go. Um, if you remember, my tribute was very similar to this. It was an amber burst or something. If the edges are slightly darker than this, this is probably the one I would go for. Out of at least the you know the, the 59 Les Paul standards. But I dig it. I really do. I dig it. Let's see. Where's the back? Does it have the medallion? I thought they came with the medallion. Maybe that's the other one. Maybe it comes with that as an option in the case, as part of your case candy. But And maybe in this new line with the headstock, they just took that off to save a few bucks. But American, uh, uh, you know, CTS 50 style wiring. I mean, the, the, the capacitors are proper. I forget what they're called. I think they're called laurels or something like that. You tell me in the comments. But they did the proper stuff inside. And, of course, you know, the pickups we've already discussed a few times. So... I think this is a great value. This is a great value, especially for anyone who wants to get something similar to this cheaper and upgrade it themselves. I mean, even if you don't like the custom buckers, you can get about 400 bucks used for them. And then you have 200 bucks in your pocket, and you can get yourself a nice set of Seymour Duncans or Damasios or EMGs if that's your fucking jam. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we're not going to look at the acoustics. The acoustics are what they are. And I'm going to try to focus on only the ones with the new headstock. Because there are a couple. I mean, we've, we know about Greeny. We know about this guy. I don't think you and I... Well, yeah, we did talk about this, didn't we? A video called Where Did This Come From? I like this. I like this a lot. I, I really... The next guitar I get is going to have to be a workhorse, though. Not like a fun guitar. But I would buy this. Those bridges. I remember those bridges. They were great. They were solid. They hurt. I remember them poking you a lot, but you could just take a file and round off a few things here and there. You may ruin the finish a little bit, but so what? These are fucking tools. Excuse me. These are tools. Tools to create stuff. Moving on. We're not going to talk about the Firebirds. They've been around for a little bit. I did want to get to one very specific guitar, but we'll look at this one because this is part of that new line. Of uh, the Epiphone inspired by with the new headstock. This one kind of makes me sad. Um, you only have the two finishes. You have stark white. And, and you know what, guitar people, it, this is better than the custom. Because you'll see with the uh, SG custom that we're going to look at here in a minute. Um, you can barely see the damn thing because they use a white background. At least this one because of binding and the right shadows, you know. But... What's special about these is, is the pick guard, essentially. They call it the long nose. You know, if you look at it like it's someone's profile, think of that ah, cha 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 kind of guy, you know. But I'm kind of sad that this only came in two, two colors. I prefer bursts on these, a darker burst, like a tobacco or something like that. 
Uh, I do know the cherry is iconic. Are they calling this cherry? Uh, where, where? Yeah, cherry. Cherry's iconic. I know it is. Uh, you know, I'll put yourself a, a peace symbol thing here and add a, you know, whatever, and Bob's your uncle. Um, it's not a 335. I know that, but I don't know. I don't know. Gibson Modern Recreation of Classic. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Um, thought, I thought they were American made pickups. I thought they were going to say Epiphone's version of Gibson's pickups. I'm just waking up, guys. So please, I'm sure you can hear that in my voice. I'm still sipping on coffee. But I love the block inlays on this bad Larry. And of course, you get the custom headstock. Maybe that plastic feeling, and I'm, I'm holding quotes up that I was talking about with the custom. Was well, because of the finish, the all-white finish. Because, you know, now looking at it with the cherry behind it, uh, it doesn't look as cheesy. And maybe that's what it comes down to, the back color. Uh, I like how they're doing this with the diamonds. So that you can't dress this up. Because you can buy, you can buy this overlay. With the Gibson logo on it, you know. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you just know that. But this right here is actually something that gets glued down to the mahogany. Um, it's an inlay basically, uh, that they put inside the binding and all that crap, you know. It's a, it's a thing you glue down. And you could easily buy them online, at least a while ago. I don't know if you can now. I'm sure you can, but uh, they may match. They may not match. I don't know. But this one's awesome. It's a little disappointing that it only came in the two colors, and maybe time will tell. Maybe it won't. I mean, I know they they, they gotta go with their, their numbers and marketing and what makes sense and what will sell. Um... But aside from that, I don't know. Uh, before we get to this one, this guy right here, I do want to do a couple of honorable mentions because I can't wait to see these. I can't wait to see these. Now, mind you, these don't come with the American pickups. These come with the Pro Buckers, I believe. Uh, that that they, uh, Epiphone Pro Buckers, yeah. Excuse me. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I like this finish on this with the black pick guard and everything. The only thing you need here is the black speed knobs. Witch hat knobs would be awesome, but you know, black reflect with the reflector knobs would look awesome on this. I think they kind of dropped the ball, but that's such an easy upgrade or you know whatever that you can do. Um, again, I'm not the biggest fan of the pick guard style uh, explorers. Uh, I I I grew up with the 85, 84, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not as jaunt here, um, but I mean it's a beautiful guitar. And I suppose if I were to buy any of the right now offering uh, Explorers from Epiphone, it would definitely be one of these. I mean we did have a green version. Um, it is what it is. I traded it for a guitar that I no longer own. <laughs> That's what happens with me, you know. I I try to get to know the guitars, and if if I'm just not, you know, I'm, I'll pass them on. More guitars are going to come my way, and I'll keep the ones that I, I feel like my soul uh, uh, makes love with, and, you know, whatever. I get a smaller price, but it's because there's no custom buckers from the Gibson custom shop or anything. This is just your straight ep Epiphone with uh, a finish, and I'm sure they're not one-piece necks. I'm, I'm damn sure. I mean, you can... Look up that spec yourself. And, oh, there's a little video here talking about all this stuff. But long story short, I just want to do these as honorable mentions. The only beef I'm having with this finish is it's not really true metal flake. It's 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 glitter. <laughs> it's glitter inside the finish. And I want to say it's probably on the clear coat. I bet you the finish itself is the purple is like a metallic. And then they use a clear uh, a metal flake over it, which is just more of a glitter one. I, I, it's hard to describe, but there is a big difference. There is a difference. Okay, moving on to the king of the show, which disappointed me the most. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're jumping up in the price a little bit here. <laughs> um, I'm going to justify this one. These come with hard shell cases, too, these, these new guys. Um, this only comes in white. And look at that, you can barely see it in the background. You can barely see it. Come on, guys. Not just sounds, but all of them. Don't use generic shit. And, and, and Gibson's sending you this stuff. You're the customer. Say, no. 
We need better images so that people can make a, a more informed choice. Um, but fifteen hundred dollars for this again? You have three of the of the uh, of the custom buckets. That's five hundred plus another two fifty right there. So again, you'll be making money. Getting rid of those if you needed to. Uh, the only thing about the three pickup layout, I don't like the way Gibson does it classically, but that's how they do it. A lot of people like that single coil coil esque tone that this wiring. If you don't know how it works with the three pickups in the in the standard layout, just look it up. Trogley talks about it all the time. In fact, I just saw he uploaded a video of this exact guitar yesterday. I haven't had a chance to watch it, but again, ebony fretboard, real mother of pearl. You know how I would spec this out myself? I would leave everything the same except I would do chrome. I would do Pelham blue and put witch hat knobs on it. Oh my god. I mean, don't get me wrong. The reflected knobs are okay, but I don't like the gold. I know that's the classic look. And ever since I saw, um, I think his name is Buxton. God, I used to be, I used to know these guys. I know it's uh, Glenn something and then there's something Neil Buxton or something like that. From the original Alice Cooper group. Um, I remember seeing some early 70s, I guess you call them music videos. They weren't really music videos back then, but uh, of them using these, and I just fell in love, and they became a dream guitar. But over time, my tastes have changed. I love SGs. I uh, had a 78 The SG for the longest time in the 90s. It was a guitar I thought I was going to bring to the grave but things happen it's called having children <laughs> having children sucks your soul sucks your bank account sucks all your life away but it's worth it right kids get out of here um let's see if there's anything else of interest to look in this little list i think there was an sg with the the same color so this is the the, the, the standard 60s that they did before oh yeah they did it with this too the colors with this. How cool is that? I dig this V. I really like this shape. There's just something very pronounced. Very, I'm really here about it. Ah, this I didn't look at. This I didn't look at. Again, it's going to be, a, it's going to come with all the appointments and probably not the one piece neck, but look at, oh, that's, oh, that, that tickles something inside of me. I don't know if I would have kept the white pick guard i would have gone black i mean they did with the the plastics already here why a white pick guard i guess it contrasts just fine i don't know it would have been weird to put stark white for the rings or the cream one so i i guess i can kind of get down with this uh assuming again ebony fretboard real mother of pearl i don't think this is real mother of pearl but i believe these are uh and again if i'm wrong let me, oh, that could be real. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. You let me know again down in the comments below. Um, we got a purple sparkle one? I didn't see this earlier. Oh, but it's got the, it's got the old head, headstock. I'm not as excited now. Ooh. That is one sexy bitch. Can you imagine putting the Tony Iommi pickups from the late 90s in here? That's what I had in my VSG. I took the velvet bricks out. And uh, actually, it's funny. I called Gibson, gave him the serial number, and they told me they were velvet bricks. But I'm pretty sure they were they were um, dirty, dirty fingers. Uh, one was a zebra and the other one was black. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if I have any pictures of it before I swapped out the pickups. While well, I was working at Parker Guitars, I did it right there in work. <laughs> I did it right there at work and they were like how come you're not working on our guitars I'm like because my guitar comes first today that's why <laughs> at my shop my shop just laughed at me he says all right hurry up no I, I did it I did it on my lunch break I did it on my lunch break look at this oh make the custom like this the the three pickup custom hell I'll even take the the Vibrola this is gorgeous how much is this one Oh, this is coming with the American pickups, but that's all right. That's all right. That's gorgeous, but there. There we go. We got some new Epiphones coming up, and, and you know what? I dig. I dig. I just know they're still going to feel like Epiphones. And if that's if that's something that you dig, I have an Epiphone. I, I absolutely love it. It's a 
one of those Epiphone SLs. It plays amazing. It's one of the better ones I have. I just need to work out the, the pickups. I don't like what I have in it now. And it's not stock. This, this kind of... I remember when I first saw this, I thought they were reaching a little bit. I'm like, ah, I don't know. But I get its purpose. I get its purpose. But again, that satiny finish. I, I, I like satin finishes, but there's just something about the way Polly looks versus... Um, nitro when it comes to satin finishes it's just it's night and day it really is uh, but if that this is your jam then absolutely enjoy you know but i just know it's going to feel like an epiphone and uh I, you may be able to get by i may be able to get by with that but regardless let me know what you think which one of these were your favorite you know let me know in the comments below if you haven't done it already Smash that like button. I'm just kidding. You know, thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all positive to me, but I would appreciate a subscription. Though I'm not very consistent over here. But I try to come up with some pretty cool things to talk about. It's just like a a personal vlog that I don't use the vlog very much with. But it is what it is, guys. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. Or if there's any that I haven't seen yet that might be coming out. Hit me to it. Um... Hopefully, uh, we'll get some Squire stuff like this, too, here pretty soon. and Maybe some LTD new stuff. and I don't know. Maybe they already did. I'm just not paying attention. I have been looking at Schecter's a lot lately, though. Oh, my God. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do a video of my wish list. My Zounds wish list. That's actually a great idea. I might upload that first. But either way, wherever in the world you are, I hope you're doing very well. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. Thank you always for watching. And bye-bye.